find the sum of 10 terms of a geometric progression which is as under. Now it's given to you that this series or these numbers which are given forms a geometric progression but even if you want to find it out for yourself you can easily find out. So in geometric progression basically the first term is known as a so we have a is equal to 7 right. The common ratio which is nothing but the ratio of the successive term with the predecessor let's say 7 is to 7 7 being the second term and the first term is equal to 1 and this is true for any number of items that you may take so let's say if I divide this 7 by this 7 the 7 being the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth term okay so again r will be equal to 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1 so the common ratio of all the numbers of these series is 1 now you must be wondering that if it is a geometric progression why the hell do I even want to do it that way I can simply add all these seven numbers ten times and I'll get 70. Now the idea is to tell you that what happens in case the common ratio is 1. Now it need not necessarily be 7 7 7 7 7 it can be even a different number which I will take you through in the subsequent part as we finish this particular one. Now traditionally we know that sum of n terms of a GP is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r right but we also know that this formula is not applicable this is not applicable when r is equal to 1 the reason for that being that when r is equal to 1 the denominator becomes 0 1 minus r 1 minus r will be equal to 0 in that case the sum of a geometric progression is taken as n a so when r is equal to 1 s n is equal to n a right where n stands for the number of terms which in this case we know is 10 and a stands for the first term a we know is 7 so the sum of the first term will be equal to n which is 10 times a which is 7 is equal to 70 right now this was an easier catch let's say for example you had something like 2 3 by 5 2 3 by 5 2 3 by 5 okay this is the first example let's say this is the second example 2 3 by 5 and so on and you are asked to find out sum of 500 terms right so if you start adding all these 500 terms it might become a little difficult right but what we can do here is again just as I said a is equal to 2 3 by 5 or 5 times 2 gives you 10 plus 3 gives you 13 by 5 the number of terms for which you have to find is 500 right the common ratio in this case is what 2 3 upon 5 divided by 2 3 upon 5 we divide the second term with the first term and get r is equal to 1 when we know that r is equal to 1 then we know that the sum of n terms is equal to n a right or simply 500 n is 500 into 13 by 5 this 5 knocks off this 500 to give you 100 or 1300 right so that way you can find out easily by applying this particular formula the sum of n terms of a GP where the common ratio is equal to 1 right with that we come to an end of this video this is Arinje Jain your educator for this video if you like this video please hit the like button if there are any feedback you do not like or you do not understand any particular thing about it please write back to us and we'll be more than happy to incorporate that as a part of our next tutorials we would also request you to please let us know which are the topics which you would want ideally to be covered as a part of our initiative